I, I really love the experience of just figuring out something new and beating it into submission to working. Very poor choice of words. <laughs> I will sell this CPU off and get an upgrade. Water pot's running barely okay. More than that, I want to really show this one scene. Struck a nerve, did I? Alright, so this is the next day. I just wanted to let people know to not buy from Amazon because look at this. Bro. But yeah, anyway, I hope this is where the real video begins where I put ARC to its bases with a CPU that can actually take full advantage. For context, God of War ran at 40 to 50 FPS, barely hitting 60. Same with Uncharted, a lot worse 1% lows with that game. Control on the other hand was great, it was 70 to 80 FPS. So I have the system laid out. This ARC card makes it look so premium and really lets the build come together because otherwise you can see how cheap the mother Board is, especially when this stupid ass SSD is visible. It used to be my boot drive at one point. Let's get the CPU uninstalled and get the new one in. So I just took the cooler out and you can see the thermal paste I used before was very cheap. It, it separated the binder and the thermal conductive material. It's like separated. I don't know why. That's why I have this other stick as well which is something I use only for my good systems but it's a Corsair TM30 which is unproven still so we'll see. <gasps> So there's a small problem, of course there is, PCs are never going to be easy. This wire, it goes straight to the front panel I.O. And this is something I had jerry-rigged myself. And here's the connector. Uh, so this was plugged in to the power switch, which is right here. This is the power switch that I used. Sorry, there's a little thermal paste on my nails, sorry for that close up, but now it just stopped working. You know, last time I had super glued it and it must have seeped in. It must have connected somehow despite the super glue. So I'm thinking of ways to jerry rig the switch once again, because I believe this works fine. It's just I need this to be accessible outside the case. If you see right here, it's right under my GPU, the front panel I.O. which I have no semblance of getting with a screwdriver every time, otherwise that, that would have been my preferred method. I'll see what I can do, <laughs> honestly at a loss here, but this is what PC building is about, so. I was looking for extra cables, like any sort of front panel collect connector, and I don't have any. I have this 3-pin fan connector, which is for the macro and the lights. This USB header, which I never plugged in because it was torn by rat aim with the front panel audio. So I really don't have any extra wire I could repurpose. Upheaval the whole thing, just trying to find something usable. It appears that's not the case. I'll have to do something else entirely. So I had to destroy the whole connector housing and get the raw wires plugged in just to see what the issue is. I have no idea man. I'm just exploring as I go. I'm gonna get electrocuted. We'll do it for content. So the power is connected. Here's the switch. I'm wearing my insulated glove just in case. All I have to do is... Okay, it didn't work. <gasps> okay, now I just have to put this in there. Somehow. I actually fixed it. I actually fixed it with Redneck Engineering. India is called Jugaad by the way. I fixed it with Jugaad. This power switch has given me so many... Oi! Fuck this. This power switch has given me so many troubles. But hopefully it was all worth it and that's a permanent solution. I f you forgot what this video is even about. It's about the CPU and the GPU. This segment is about the CPU. The video is about the GPU. Let's see how it did. Isn't that red SATA wire it looks so ugly when the blue shines up. Like, dead. <laughs> Sometimes God doesn't stop us from making big mistakes because the problems will help us find solutions that are like far more permanent. I hope that's permanent. Okay, so this is typical uh, Windows 11 behavior. The CPU has changed to the TPM key as well. If you have big BitLocker encryption, it's, you know, usually preferred that you... I'm not gonna explain that shit. I'm, why am I mansplaining that? Fuck you. Fuck you, Windows 11. I'm not explaining shit. I love this machine though. I've tinkered with this machine so much. One thing that has stood his ground, it's it's this case. And the reason why it's cheap is you've seen. Look at all those wires just chewed out by rats. Oh, well, there's the notification. I have to reconfigure BIOS. This is actually awesome. This The same setting that was giving me barely 50 to 60 FPS is giving me 120. That's awesome. So it was genuinely something with the 3000 series Ryzen processor that was causing this problem. So my working theory is resize bar support on Ryzen 
Ryzen 3000 is poorly implemented for some Ryzen 3000 chips. I don't know the reason for that and there's literally no discussion online about it. And now changing from to this CPU has just boosted my performance in a DX11 game literally by 50 to 60 percent which is amazing. I'm actually running it through DXVK so it translates the whole game into Vulkan which makes it run better because Intel has native support for Vulkan but not the other like older APIs. A little tidbit was that while I was cleaning that PC I took out the 5800X from that and put it in this system just to see and I got similar results. Oh I have to optimize the GPU fan curve as well but it's a very capable GPU once you give it a good CPU with enough headroom that's been awesome. So I'll be reporting more of my findings as they come on. Let's move on to the next game and uh, I'll show you how that's performing and Uncharted will still remain my nemesis. So Control, this was one such game that benefits from the fact that it's GPU bound because last we saw we got 70 to 90 FPS getting 90 to 110 now. It was still playable back then, it's amazing right now and you can see the frame time graphs, still a bit of flicker most of the time there. I, I think that's on a repeat cycle like look at the frame time it's just it doesn't seem as bad I mean as the graphs would indicate but either way I'm gonna crank ray tracing now. Okay high ray tracing now and uh, 60 fps sorry my phone's actually charging so i can't really zoom out too much that 60 fps with high ray tracing wow wow that that actually looks awesome giving 55 to 60 fps i think i was getting 40 to 55 on ray tracing before this is one game and many such games like this where you know arc has really picked itself up where you cannot expect this performance for any other like 20,000 rupee card which is 210 dollars the funny thing about computer parts in india is that instead of directly being like one dollar being 80 rupees one dollar is more akin to a hundred rupees with the import piece and all oh yeah that was a weird tangent but basically control is working on to the next game. I'm really, really tempted to try Cyberpunk, but I'll do that later. First, it's time for my arch nemesis, Uncharted. <laughs> So it has horrific frame time pacing issues which are well documented on like every forum I could see that mentions are there it is okay <laughs> the the one percent lows are far better I'm not complaining the one percent lows are far better but the problem is I'm pretty sure I'm on like mostly low settings yeah mostly low settings you know fuck it I'm cranking these they are now sufficiently cranked let's see okay 84 to 90 fps what about this foliage how it what i swear that was giving us 40 before wasn't it there 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 it goes so similar performance for better fidelity i'll take that but i think my highs are better my average fps is better i have to say i'm really really satisfied i have not bested my enemy yet but we have reached a stalemate while being at 62 fps or sorry 62 celsius so I'm going to try and give my final feedback and some cyberpunk benchmarks tomorrow because tonight I'm just going to play God of War. <laughs> I'm really happy. You know, I used to dream for days like these, just buying a GPU that I prefer. And back then it was the 1080 Ti. I remember being hyped for the 980 Ti and then the 1080 just blew everybody's minds. Wow, it's just, it's amazing how much a hobby can change from when you're a kid to when you're an adult. Now I can fuck around with Intel GPUs. This is awesome. Like this this GPU has verifiably sent me back in time to when I was like new to the PC space and I was just so scared and I didn't know what I was doing. When it works, it's amazing. When it doesn't, Intel will work on it. Yeah, I'll, I'll post the Cyberpunk benchmark after this and then my closing thoughts. Right now, I'm just gonna play some video games on this system.